How's it going everyone? Welcome to the Majestic Mashikasaurus YouTube channel. Good to have you here. My name is Milo and most of my videos on this channel are responses to other content out there on the interwebs, but today I thought we would shake it up a little bit. I really love science and I've always had a special interest in paleontology, which of course includes the dinosaurs. So for this video I've compiled a list of 101 facts, things we currently know about the dinosaurs, and I'm going to try to get through every single one of them in just five minutes. So let's get started. And go! Spinosaurus spent most of its time on all fours and in the water, and ate mostly fish. Brachiosaurus means arm lizard because its front legs are longer than its back legs. Birds literally are dinosaurs. Pterosaurs, or pterodactyls, are not dinosaurs. Stegosaurus means roofed lizard because we first thought its back plates went out to the side, forming a flat roof instead of going straight up. The spiked end of a stegosaurus tail is called a thagomizer. We have a fossil of an allosaurus with a puncture wound in it that fits the stegosaurus tail spike. Therizinosaurus means scythe lizard because its claws were so big. So big that when they were first found, they were thought to be the ribs of a giant turtle. And they were actually plant eaters. Velociraptors were closer to the size of a turkey with a long tail than the raptors in Jurassic Park. Mashikasaurus, my channel's namesake, was a small fish-eating dinosaur from Madagascar. I've heard it pronounced both Mashikasaurus and more phonetically, like Masiakasaurus. I just think Mashikasaurus sounds cooler. We do actually know what color some dinosaurs' feathers were. For example, Microraptor was an iridescent blue-black like a crow. Anchiornis had white and black wings with a reddish crown. And Sinoceropteryx had a striped tail. We have found a Velociraptor and its prey fossilized together in the middle of a battle. Eutyrannus, in the same family as T-Rex, is the largest dinosaur known to have feathers. It's almost 30 feet long. All of the cool marine reptiles like ichthyosaurs and plesiosaurs are not dinosaurs. Some of the long-necked dinosaurs grew over 100 feet long. Oviraptor means egg thief, but the eggs found with it were its own eggs it was actually protecting, not stealing. Tyrannosaurus rex means tyrant lizard king. There's no evidence that Dilophosaurus had a neck frill, nor did it spit venom like they did in Jurassic Park. And they were also much bigger, like 20 feet long. Cosmoceratops had 15 horns and spikes on its head. It's the horniest dinosaur. Most dinosaurs could not chew their food. We found a small dinosaur tail with feathers preserved in amber. Nigrosaurus, a long-necked dinosaur, had about 500 teeth. The crest on the head of Parasaurolophus could have been used to produce low horn-like noises. The longest dinosaur name is Micropachycephalosaurus. Nine syllables. One dinosaur was named after Draco Malfoy. It's called Draco Rex Hogwartsia, and its name literally means Hogwarts' is Dragon King. But it might just be a younger version of another dinosaur. On islands in the region of Bohemia lived Omdinosaurus, a giant long neck that was only 13 feet long. Carnotaurus, the bad guys from the Disney movie Dinosaur, were about 25 feet long, not nearly as big as Disney made them. Carnotaurus means flesh bull because it ate meat and had horns like a bull. In the Ghost Ranch Quarry in New Mexico, we found more than 100 species of a small dinosaur called Coelophysis. We found dinosaur fossils in Antarctica because it didn't always used to be frozen. The first dinosaur to be named and described was Megalosaurus in 1824. Some of the Ankylosaurs, the best armored dinosaurs, even had armored eyelids. Allosaurus means strange lizard, and it's the Utah State fossil, even though the state dinosaur is Utah Raptor. Allosaurus didn't have a really strong bite, but it did have a super strong upper jaw and really sharp teeth, so it probably just threw its upper jaw down at prey like an axe. T-Rex didn't have super sharp teeth, but it had really thick teeth and a hugely strong bite, so it didn't want to slice you up, it wanted to crush you. The heaviest dinosaurs, like Argentinosaurus, weighed over 100 tons. These giant log necks could likely rear up on their back legs to come back down and crush predators. The first fossils found of Spinosaurus were blown up in a German museum in World War II. Pentaceratops had the largest skull of any land animal, almost 10 feet long. The fastest dinosaurs, like Struthiomimus, could probably run 30 miles an hour. Utah Raptor was the biggest raptor dinosaur, but also one of the earliest. So the raptor started big and then got smaller. Heterodontosaurus had unusual hands and probably could hold stuff between its first and fifth fingers. On the other hand, Mononychus had only one claw on each hand. Microraptor had wing-like feathers on all four limbs, probably didn't fly but could glide between trees. What we now know to be Iguanodon's thumb spike was originally placed on its nose. At the same time and place of Spinosaurus lived another sailback dino, the plant-eating Oranosaurus. Corythosaurus means helmet lizard because its crest looks like a helmet. Shootosaurus was a long-necked dinosaur with a club tail, and Amargosaurus was a long neck with crazy spikes on its neck. Cryolophosaurus was almost named Elvisaurus after Elvis pressed his hair because of its funny-looking crest. Kentrosaurus had huge spikes on its shoulders as well as its back and tail. The prettiest looking and sounding dinosaur name is Leelanosaurus. Leelanosaurus. Oh, so nice. The biggest duck-billed dinosaur was Shentungosaurus from China. At 50 feet long, it was bigger than T-Rex. Werosaurus was like Stegosaurus, but its plates were flat, not pointy. Early relatives of Triceratops, like Protoceratops, were very small and sometimes called the sheep of the Cretaceous. Suchomimus was a smaller spinosaur without the sailback, and its name means crocodile mimic. Likewise, Ornithomimus means bird mimic, Dromesiomimus means emu mimic, Pelicanomimus means pelican mimic, and Struthiomimus means ostrich mimic. Sintasaurus had a unicorn-like horn on its head. We know of about 700 different species of extinct dinosaurs. Mamenchisaurus had the longest neck of any animal ever, over 30 feet long. Another spinosaurus like dino called Irritator was named so because of its tricky fossils that were annoying to scientists. Eoraptor is perhaps the earliest dinosaur we know of, and its name means Dawn Thief. Velociraptor means Speedy Thief. You've probably heard of Truodon as the smartest dinosaur. It was from Montana, but there were other Truodon in Alaska that were like twice as big. Dimetrodon is also not a dinosaur. It went extinct before any dinosaurs evolved. 
In the late 1800s, two paleontologists, Othniel Marsh and Edward Cope, were in a not-so-friendly competition to see who could find the most fossils, called the Bone Wars. They named 136 species between the two of them, including some of the most famous dinosaurs like Allosaurus, Stegosaurus, Diplodocus, and Triceratops. But they also made a lot of careless mistakes that took decades to find and fix. Monolophosaurus means single-crested lizard, and it looks really dumb. Gastosaurus was named so because its fossils were found by a company looking for natural gas. Diplodocus may have been able to whip its long, slender tail to make a loud crack. Ankylosaurus tail club could swing in a 100-degree range and fast enough to crush bones. We know of about 50 dinos with direct evidence of feathers. Even Cetacosaurus, in the same family as Triceratops, had feathers. The dome on the top of Pachycephalosaurus head was 10 inches thick, and T-Rex's arms were about as long as an adult human's. Yes! <laughs> and that was 101 facts about dinosaurs in five minutes. Obviously, I didn't bother to elaborate on any of those, so if you would like some more detail or you just want to fact check me, I'll figure out some way to leave a ridiculous amount of links in the description to all my references that you can check out. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed that. I certainly had a lot of fun putting it together, and I want to know how many of those you already knew, or which facts you thought were the most interesting, so please leave your comments in, in the section below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you did enjoy the video, and I would consider subscribing to the Majestic Mashikasaurus YouTube channel. That would mean a lot. But anyway, that's all I have for you today, so I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.